It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Southern Open is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Well, I tell you what, they, uh, they've gotten a lot out of their game up to this point in time. They're either going to have to get more out of it, but if they continue playing the way they are and the short game fails them, let's face it, they're going to go tumbling down the leaderboard. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, guys, it might not be all that bad here in the first cut. It's sitting, sitting up pretty good. Going with the five wood. Uh, that's going right. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And this putt coming up for his par. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Currently at six under par overall. to tee off at the second. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. And that shot back in the fairway. Playing from around 110 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Oh, that was pure. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? From where he is, I'm thinking 28 feet. Oh, what a great stroke. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. 
Okay, let's head to the next. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, guys, I'm here on the fifth hole. This is Gary Woodland. Opting for the five wood. A oh, wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Luke, unfortunately that got a horrible kick, ended up in the rough. It's heading into the rough, I think. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. Getting ready to play their third. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. That was worthy of another look. John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I'd say about 26 feet or so to the cup from here. Okay, steady now. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. That's well hold. Finds himself in a share of seventh. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Trying to bounce back after that bogey at the last. Not a bad line, this one. Time for the second shot here at the fall. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh. 
Well, a little off the target with that one. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Great touch, really nicely played. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. This is a bogey putt coming up. Well, I like the look of this. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. find ourselves on a par three here. Looks like they've got the five wood. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Greens and regulation today has been absolutely abysmal, and that is reflective on their scorecard. Opportunity to make their par. A good stroke. Yep, you'll take that. It's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, guys, we're taking a look at Gary Woodland here on the seventh. And this next putt is for triple bogey. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Matt Kucha currently leading the field. This hole here is a par four. Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the sixth. Opting for the three wood. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. A bit short with that effort. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. If he makes this, he'll save his par.
Good putt, that. Matt Kuchar is atop of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. This one should find the rough. Second shot here on the seventh. Nicely done. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. A oh, well hold. He'll take the birdie. And that will take him to six under. And Cooge currently leads this one. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. This one might need to sit. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. That was a gallant attempt. And this next putt, it's for bogey. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a short time ago. Lining up for his third now. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the ninth. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck.
No harm, no foul there with that shot. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Yes, and let's hope it's not a similar result as yesterday. Nicely done. A good chance to move to six under par here. Oh, just missed. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par, chance to pipe one up the middle. Disappointing that one. And John, what's this one looking like? A well, pretty shallow lie here in the sand. I don't think it'll be too hard getting out of here. Come on, practice makes better. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Just missed the hole. And a par is all but guaranteed after that fantastic bunker shot. Oh, that's a great save. What an effort in the bunker with their tee shot and that is a very good save now six strokes back after that hole power threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one for the five iron. That's not the outcome they were after. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. for birdie oh a messy little lie in the bunker but that is not a problem for this player yes in the hole oh, hello worth another look shall we Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay sitting at one under. Oh, that was a beauty. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now.
Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. Well played, mate. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Good stuff. Second shot here on the 12th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Sitting at minus six, tied for sixth position. Going with the nine iron, I think. That's not what they were looking for. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. And down she goes. Currently six under for the event. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, this looked bad to me initially, but now that I'm uh, now that I'm taking a closer look, it's sitting up pretty good here on the first cut. And choosing the eight iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Well done. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole.
and now teeing off on this par four hole. This one might roll into the rough. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they lucked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. Well... I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. From around 120 yards here. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. And back to the course with the live action. And here we are with the third shot. That a boy. Good shot. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. You've arrived at a par four. That's tidy. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Well, I'm over on the 18th now, and this is a look at Gary Woodland. Get in the hole. Let's return to live play now. Sitting at seven under, tied for fifth. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut up by the green. They made bogey on this hole yesterday, and right now they are staring at the same number right square between the eyes. <laughs> Playing their fourth shot. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Now it's a good putt to hold for a bogey. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. Seems to have chosen the three wood.
That dog will hunt. And this punt is for a big two on the scorecard. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. That's the right pace. This should drop. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, I'm over on the 18th watching Tony Fina set up his next shot. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Wow. Second shot here on the 17th. Oh, absolutely flushed. Chance to move to eight under here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Currently at seven under for the tournament. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. That should find the cut stuff. Interesting choice of the driver here. That was wonderfully done. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. went in and that will do it for this player today so rich they look like me through the front nine in that round but fortunately look like you are coming home Luke I don't think you could have said it any better
Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HP Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>